Amen. God bless you today. This is Missionary Rudy Henry, where he who saves one life saves the world's ministries, um, Fresno, California. I want to say, you know, the Bible says the gifts and the calling of God without repentance. So the gifts and the talents are going to work. Yeah. When God gives you a life, when God gives you a gift and a talent, it's yours, you know. And so the gifts and the talents of God are without repentance. You can be in sin. You can be in iniquity. You can be in darkness. You can be in the flesh. You can be a man pleaser. You can be the devil pleaser. You can be the world pleaser. It's going to work. Yeah. That, I mean, you. I've seen, we know that. We can read the Bible and see it in history. The gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Let's use our life and gifts and talents for Jesus Christ today. Um, Jesus Christ is soon to come. He said he'll be here anytime soon. And if you're living your life, you know, maybe you you know, you know live in your life to please yourself or men or the world or the devil, it's time to repent and come back to Jesus Christ and use your life, gifts, and talents for Jesus Christ, not for money, not for your own gain, not for the gain of those around you or the world or men or whatever the case may be. Don't use God for your own gain. Serve Him. Serve the Lord in fear. Stay in the fear of the Lord. Don't sell God out. Don't sell the call of God out. I sense this so strong. My friend, it's not worth it. Yeah. And if you have, you can come back to Jesus Christ and repent of that and say, man, it's time for me to live in the fear of the Lord. This ain't right. I, I've got to return to Jesus Christ today. Jesus Christ is soon to come. I love you and God loves you too, and I'm praying for you. It's a fight. You know, we have to live a life of obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I think about when Jesus was in the garden, and he prayed three times. He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. We have to live a life of submission and obedience to Christ. We have to do things God's way in our life. Not our way, but God's way. We have to do things God's way. Whatever God is telling you to do, Live for Him. Live for Jesus Christ today. Um, as I said before, um, you can choose to live. You know, a lot of people are just putting God in it, and they're, God is not. They're just saying, "Well, it's of God, and I'm a man or woman of God," but they're not really serving God. You know, they're serving themselves. They're serving man. They're serving the world. They're living for their own profit. They're living for their own gain. They're doing their own thing. They're not spending time with God. It's become some kind of game for them it's you know and that's very scary i'm telling you to stay in the straight and narrow stay with jesus christ stay an honest man and woman of god don't sell god out don't sell the call of god out my friend it ain't worth it no man no woman no child no money no position no title no influence is worth selling god out stay true to the call of god you know i've been preaching in these streets in fresno california for 25 years i've had a lot of opportunity to sell god out I fear God, man, you know, this day, because you can get corrupted, you know, um, I hear when people say, well, uh, maybe they weren't saved at all, no, they were saved, God did tell them to do that, somewhere in that line, women got in, or money, or fame, or friends, or they wanted to be a celebrity, and you know, so, and God will never leave you, he will, but you can leave God, that's the, that's the choice we make, you can leave God, and many people have left God in the church, and in the world, you know, many, many people have left God and they're doing their own thing. They're no longer, you know, it's no longer about Jesus Christ and they're no longer serving God and fulfilling God's will. And, you know, it's, it's, it's become just, they're just become, cele well, it's really scary. But stay in the face of God, walk with God, you know, stay in prayer, stay in fasting. I've been in the presence of God, I think, for 31 days. Get along with God. Keep that fire. Be running over, overrunning, flowing over with Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, check your heart. But I want to say, get as much God in you. Get full of it. Ask for the baptism in the Holy Ghost and fire. And say no to the... I just don't, you know, don't let the world corrupt. Don't let these... Don't let anything or anyone corrupt. It ain't worth it, man. Stay, you know, stay, keep your ministry and life pure before Jesus Christ today. I thank God for all these years I've been serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, not for sale. My friend, the touch of God is not for sale today. Not for anyone or anything. But sadly to say, many have sold God out. And they're doing, 
you know, there's you know, everybody's religious nowadays, and they're full. I mean, it's very, you know, uh, Balaam, I think about Balaam. He, he with his eyes wide open, and, and he was a prophet of God, the madness of the prophet, and that's happening in the world today. And my Lord Jesus Christ, let's keep a heart for God. Let's, let's keep on fire. Stay true, men and women of God, till Jesus Christ comes and takes us home. I believe this is the word of God. I've been in the presence of God for the last three or four. I'm just trying to stay full of God and the fire of God and running over with Jesus Christ today. Lord, what would you have me today? You know, let's let's stay people of prayer. Let's do things God's way in our life. Don't say anything God is not telling you to say. Don't go anywhere God is not telling you to go. Don't do anything God is not telling you to do. When Well, I want to say this. As we see what happens when people do that. So there's a lot of people... I saw it's a mess out there. A lot of people are just shipwrecked in the faith and a lot of trouble and you know and 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 that's what happens when we don't spend time alone with God and we're no longer fulfilling God's will for our life. But you know, it's no longer about Jesus Christ and the ministry and the word of God and but we've got to live that way for Jesus Christ today. Amen. Uh missionary Rudy Henry here for he who saves my life. You can you, you, I say this, God will never leave you, but you can leave God. And many people are choosing to do that today. They no longer want to pray and fast and get in the Word and spend time alone with God. and They no longer want to li live a life of, of being a, a true person, of God-fearing person for God. They just, oh, who cares, whatever. You know, I'll just live. Yeah, I'm a, you know, no, my friend, we need to live for the Lord Jesus Christ today and give it all we got. And let's stay obedient to the Holy Spirit in the Jesus Christ, but if you will, I say I always say this: what there's nothing wrong with wealth and position, as long as you don't allow it to to to, to transform you. And sadly to say, God has you know God has raised up a lot of people, but they have chosen to allow those things to own them, and God no longer has them. They're just moving in the gifts, and it's very scary. You know, we can move in the gifts and the talents. The gifts and the talents of God without repentance. God's going to use He. That's what he said. That's who he is. He's a good God. He's going to use you for his namesake. He's going to use. He, I mean, he used the jackass, you know, to talk to Balaam. And he saw the angel of the Lord. So that's just who God is. He is a good God. You it does. You can be living in sin and iniquity. I've seen. I, you can read the Bible. I've seen it in my own life and fornication and stealing and cheating and lying. And, you know, you don't pray. and just It's just horrible. He is that kind of God. That, I mean, you know, that's why Jesus said on that day, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. So let's live an honest life, a pure life before God. That's worth more than all the money and fame and friends in the world. My God, you need to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been in the presence of God. It's the word of the Lord now. And if that's you, my friend, I pray you repent today and get on your knees and say, I'm a Judas. I sold God out. I don't care about the things of God. I'm just religious and moving in the gifts. And my friend, please just come to Jesus Christ and allow Jesus Christ to wash your sins away. There's still hope for you today. You don't, it doesn't have to end in a terrible, in a, you know, there's still hope for you today, man and woman of God. Come to Jesus Christ today and say, it's time for me to do my, come back to your first love and do my first works. And I try to always stay with my first love and do my first works. Jesus is my first love and preaching these streets is um, my first work. So I always maintain, when I try to drift, you can drift away from God. I'm very careful not to drift away from God. So let me spend time with God and remember the call of God. Let me preach these streets. You can drift, not that God is going to leave you, but you can drift away from God and get out there in no man's land and doing all kinds of stuff and say as God and God ain't in it. As you can see, that's going on in the in the world today, and a lot of people in the flesh, and <laughs> you got to crucify this flesh. You know, Jesus, you know, the Bible says, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no longer I, but Christ that liveth in me. No to the world, no to the devil, no to the man, no to the, the flesh, and yes to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. But I want to say this, don't allow those things to possess you. Yeah, don't. Man, I mean, you know, don't let those things possess you, my friend. Stay faithful to God, whatever it is. If it's taking care of kids and stay in the presence of God and full of the Holy Spirit, stay in prayer. 
Whatever God tells you to do, do it. Stay faithful. Stay a friend of God. Yeah. Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ today. You know, the gifts and the talent are without me. I feel the fear of the Lord right now. I mean, I don't know. I've seen people. I, I didn't even know that. I'm backsliding, moving in the gifts. I've seen backsliders, people, you know, moving in the gifts and talents and God using them. Because he said that. He said he causes the rain to come down to just him. He's just that kind of way. He's such a loving God. You used to be his. And he's going to you. That's the kind of God he is. If you believe it, I mean, that's who he is. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily right before God. So let's let's come back. Let's serve Jesus Christ. Let's be people in the fear of the Lord. I just feel the fear of the Lord. Hey, Amen. I pay my tithe. And man, I'm trying to stay, you know, don't be corrupted by those things today. Amen. Uh, missionary Rudy Henry here. Because the devil already proved that. We've been, we've seen. Balaam is one of the madness of the prophet. He, he saw trances, and man, whoo, Jesus, the Bible says for silver and gold, man, some people would do anything for silver and gold, for fame, and to be accepted in popularity, they'll even turn their backs on God, and say, you, they, you know, it's very scary, once they get a taste of that kind of life, they're like, yeah, it is God, and God ain't nothing, they have to do nothing in it, my friend, stay, say only what God says, go on where God tells you to go, do on 